Just grab yourself a cereal box and let's get crocheting. Happy holidays, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're gonna make this fur ornament. We are gonna use a recycled box, it could be a cracker box, a cereal box, anything you have, some fur yarn, and then just some sort of like ribbon or Christmas decorations, anything you have laying around craft-wise. For supplies, we are gonna use some faux fur yarn. This is a Lion brand yarn. Then grab a piece of cardboard. This is just from a cereal box, so you can do anything really. I'm just gonna cut out a circle with this. I used a large mouth mason jar to make the circle, but you can use a cookie cutter. The circle will be about three inches across and then one and a half, about one and a half in the middle. So just use anything or just freehand it. Grab some scissors, a yarn needle, and then I used an H hook, but you can use whatever you have. If you have a J, it's fine, it, it doesn't really matter. And then some sort of berries or leaves or ribbon, anything that you'd like to put on your ornament. Okay, we're gonna grab our cardboard. You can also use a teething ring or like an embroidery hoop or something if you didn't wanna cut this out. Here, I do have my box. It's a little bit of a thinner cardboard because it's from one of those really small boxes. So if you use like a cracker box or something, it might be a little sturdier. So I have my lid here, my wide mason jar. It's about three inches across. So I'm just gonna cut out that circle and then I freehand a circle in the middle. All I do is just poke a hole with the pointy part of my scissors and then just cut that out. Here is our finished circle. Don't worry if that middle circle isn't perfect or your outside circle because the fur yarn is so forgiving. We're gonna get started, so grab your hook, your yarn, and your cardboard. We're gonna make a slip knot, leave a long tail. So I'm gonna wrap the yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing it at the top. I'm gonna hold that tail with my ring finger and push that back piece to the front. I'm gonna pull up on that piece and then I'm gonna pull down on my yarn tail. I'm gonna grab my cardboard and I'm gonna put my hook through that middle cardboard and then attach my slip knot. Go ahead and tighten that up around your hook and then get set up with your work. Pull the hook to the front and then yarn over and pull through to connect. Now you're gonna place your hook through the middle of the cardboard Yarn over and pull it through to the front. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. So there's your first single crochet. So you're gonna place it through the hook again, yarn over, pull it to the front, yarn over and pull through. So you're gonna continue doing this all the way around the circle. And I just kind of push my stitches closer together once I have a few done, and then I just continue crocheting. Okay, I think I'm reaching close to the end. I'm just gonna do a few more stitches. And then once you look at your work and you don't see any of the cardboard or anything, then I think you're good. So from here, I'm going to leave a long piece and we are just gonna fasten off. So we're gonna yarn over and pull our yarn all the way through. And then we'll use our tail from our slip knot and this tail and we'll just make a knot. From here, you can leave this plain if that's what you'd like, or you can put some berries and leaves or something that you have. So I'm just gonna put a leaf that I cut off and a few berries and see how that looks. I'm just using fabric glue and then I'll let it dry for a few hours before I mess with it again. So that's it, you guys. This is our super lightweight ornament, which is awesome because I feel like I have a million heavy ornaments that weigh down my tree. So this will be nice to have a really light ornament and it will make a perfect gift. And you're recycling for the environment, so you really can't go wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs in the near future. And head over to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.